What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've got a video here for installing and playing Hytale on your Steam Deck. There's a few steps to this, but luckily there is a Linux version to install. There's a few quirks along the way, but we're gonna go through all that when it comes to the guide. But ultimately, the game here in early access, while a little rough around the edges, is definitely playable and able to be used here on the Steam Deck. There's no controller support, but luckily here with Steam OS, it's kind of easy to get around that and make the game playable as well. And we're gonna look at all that here in the guide for Hytale on your Steam Deck. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get into it and see how to get this thing going. Now, you're probably on game mode or whatever the case is on your Steam Deck, but everything we're gonna to wanna to do at the start is gonna be over on desktop mode. So we're gonna get hit our Steam button, go to power, go to switch to desktop, and get us moved over there. Now once we're on desktop mode, the first thing we're gonna do is use whatever browser you like to use here on your Steam Deck. And we're going to go over to the Hytale website. You can search for that, Hytale.com, or whatever you want to do there. So if I just start, start spelling out Hytale here, click on that. We'll get that coming up in search. We'll click Hytale, and I'll be on the main website. Now we're going to want to download this, but of course, if you haven't already purchased or gotten access to or created an account for Hytale, you're going to want to do all of that first. They have a few different options from 20 bucks all the way up to 70 when it comes to getting in and it's all early access stuff, but you need to do all that first. Once you have an account and you own a game and everything, go to download and we're going to do download for Linux since we're on Steam OS. If it doesn't automatically show for you like it is here for me, you've got three options right here under that for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So we're going to go ahead and click and download the Flatpak installer here for our Steam OS version. All right, now with that downloaded, we'll go over here to our Explorer or our Dolphin folders here and go to Downloads and you're going to see the Hytail Launcher. I'm going to double click on that and it's going to bring up the installer. Now I'm going to be able to just click install from local bundle right up here and it doesn't ask me for a password, but I have seen for some people it does wind up asking for your Steam Deck or your SteamOS user password. And if you don't have one, you may have to create one or remember which one you did have. But when I click install, I did not get that pop up and I did not wind up having to put in any type of password here for me. So it could be a different experience depending on what happens for you. It just came up where I could do remove or launch. If you do need that password though, just go into your quick settings down here, scroll all the way down until you get to users, click on that and you'll see SteamOS user here. And then over on the right, you'll see change password. Just click that. You're gonna put your password in twice and save that and get that process done if you do wind up needing to do that. It's pretty quick and easy from there. Once you're good to go though with your install, you can click launch on here and we'll go ahead and get Hytale Launcher brought up for the first time and we'll be able to start getting signed in, which is where we run into another little quirk here along the way that some people don't seem to be having an issue with at all and some do where you click on sign in and nothing happens. It doesn't take you to the sign in page and you're not able to continue on. So we do have a fix for that here that we'll be able to uh, use. It's gonna be this line that we're gonna run in console right here and I'll show you how we're going to do that and it's basically a dbus monitor to help us get directed to the login page now i didn't come up with this myself of course it was sent to me by a friend and uh it's over on reddit i'll put a link to this in the description as well so you can go check it out but it's a nice fix for the sign in issues but anyways i'm going to go ahead and click and copy here for this line and then we're going to go over to our steam os button here go to all applications and we're going to go down to console Go ahead and open this up and I'm going to go ahead and click with the left trigger, right trigger paste. And I'm going to bring up my keyboard with X and just hit R2 or enter here. And now that's going to be running here in the background ready to go. Next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Hytale again. So I'm just going to go into all applications, come down here to Hytale. And we'll open this up again to the launcher to that sign in spot again. So if we go over here this time and we click sign in. Then we bring up the console. You're going to see we now have an account page. So I'm going to click on here, open link, and it's going to take us to the sign in page that we need to continue here. Now, however, you made your account that we talked about before earlier in the video, you're going to want to use to sign in here. Mine's just with an email. So I'll go ahead and get signed in. Then they'll send you your authentication code here and you'll be able to input that. And once you're done, it's going to authorize the app and you should be good to go. So I was able to do this without any problem as long as I did that console command before I tried to sign in. With that's done, we can go ahead and close out the console. Done with that. And that should be all the quirks that we really have left uh, for this. It's ready to go ahead and install uh, Hytale here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click install here on the launcher. 
once it gets that done, we're going to be able to go ahead and play, which we're going to want to be able to do from game mode, uh, from gaming mode. So we'll get to that. But before we go that far, I do like to make sure that this is going to launch OK and that it's working, which everything was working just fine here. I don't need to get into the actual game yet, but I want to make sure everything would launch. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and quit. And then the next thing we're going to want to do before we go back to the gaming mode is going to be adding that to Steam. So I'm going to hit our Steam OS button over here again, go to all applications, go to Hightail, use our left trigger to bring up the menu and right trigger to click on add to Steam. And that'll add it to our Steam library. So when we get back to gaming mode, it'll be easy to open up. And before I go back to gaming mode, I do like to check in my library and just make sure it showed up and I don't need to redo anything and wind up coming back to uh, desktop. But there it is, Hightail Launcher in Steam Library now. So we're going to be good to go there and we can get back over to gaming mode and do everything else from there. All right, we're back over on gaming mode now. I'm going to hit the Steam button and go to Library and Non-Steam Games. And we're going to see Hightail Launcher here. Now, if you have something like Decky Loader and stuff, you can change the artwork pretty quickly. I don't have that on here right now. I have a fresh Steam Deck, and I'm working on some new install guides. Um, so I'm not worried about the artwork, but you could do that. But we're going to go into our controller settings here, and we're going to make a change uh, first here to mouse and keyboard. So go up here to our templates. Community layouts is something we're going to get back into and wind up using one of these to get uh, playing a little bit better. We have X to see all there, and there's a bunch more here than there were when I started this video a uh, day or so ago for early access. So a lot of people have been jumping in, obviously, and making layouts. But for right now, I'm going to go into templates. I'm just going to do the keyboard and mouse option, and we'll make some changes here in a little bit. We're going to apply that, and now we can go ahead and hit play and launch this from gaming mode, and we'll be good to get in, and then we'll make some other controller changes. So this opened up pretty quickly, all real time, no editing uh, for this part. We're going to go ahead and click play and let it go real time again. And it winds up being pretty quick here to launch us into the main menu for Hightail here on the Steam Deck. So ultimately a few quirks along the way, but for the most part, able to get this going pretty quickly and easily here on the deck and on gaming mode. And here we are launched into the game. And we're going to make some changes in settings before we actually jump into the gameplay and see what's going on here. But go down here and go to settings. Now, as far as controls, of course, you can get in here and adjust some mouse sensitivity and some other things. There's no controller support yet, but the devs are working on controller support, which makes sense. I'm sure they want to bring this to consoles. It'll be easier to play on the other handhelds and things like that. But it's not here yet, so we are using SteamOS and Steam's input and everything to get through all of that. I'm going to turn off VSync for now, and I'll cap the frames a little bit later. We're going to go on full screen here, so we take up everything, save that. And as far as settings, the game is a little quirky on performance right now on the deck, but there's definitely potential to run really well on here and probably up the settings. But for now, because things are a little janky here and there, I'm just going to stick with low for now. And we can mess around with that later in a future video if I cover this some more. But for now, that'll get us through, so we'll just save our changes. And yeah, besides that, we have our worlds that we can choose from, exploration and creation. We have our mini games, which aren't here yet. Uh, neither is the adventure mode. Uh, there's going to be the servers and, of course, the My Avatar and the settings area. And what I'm just going to jump into here is going to be in the worlds and exploration, which is kind of where I'm spending my first amount of time here uh, with the game with Hightail here on the Steam Deck. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, in here and make my world name. So in order to bring up the keyboard here, hold Steam and hit X. That'll bring that up for you here. And then you can name your world. You can go in the settings, make some changes if you want to, fall damage, how much stuff do you lose when you die, and things like that. Make it as easy or difficult as you want to. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and create world, and it'll just take a minute or so, and it'll actually get us in and good to go. Now, as far as the controls, we're still on that mouse and keyboard setup, which isn't the best here and doesn't give us the easiest access to our inventory and other things. We can kind of tab across the bottom row here, move around a little bit, uh, swing our arms around and stuff like that. But it's not ultimately the best, so I am going to want to get in and go ahead and change that. So I'll get back to the controller settings. We're going to go into the community layouts again and hit X to bring all those up. And you can go through and choose which ones are going to work best for you and ultimately probably modify these to different ways that you like it to play. But ultimately for me to get started, I just downloaded the so-called most popular one right now and wound up applying that. And ultimately I was able to play pretty well on this one without making any other changes, though there are some things I would wanna go in and change. It does work ultimately here. I'm able to move around pretty easy, tab around the row, get into my inventory, get into third person view, craft items, move the uh, mouse around with either the touchpad or the right stick and pretty much 
navigate and do pretty well here. So I think they did a pretty good job on this layout uh, just off the bat to be able to get in and try this out uh, and check it out. Now the right stick doesn't move you around as you'll see here in a minute, but it changes your perspective, brings up the emote window or wheel and all that kind of stuff. Uh, when it comes to actually moving around, I'm using the D-pad and the right stick here to make him move around, which at first felt a little awkward, but it actually works out uh, just fine here for the most part. And I didn't really have any problems with it. Now, as far as settings, again, this is something we're gonna wanna play with a little bit later. I'm gonna go ahead and cap this to 60, but there's still some quirks and things that'll happen here and there, no matter what you really cap it to. And this is early access, performance isn't the best, depending on what's going on when you're running around, but it is playable and they're definitely, I'm sure, gonna smooth this out and get it performing even better over time as this is out. But you can see this here on the Steam Deck, me using all the buttons here, able to control everything, change my perspective, move around with the D-pad and the right stick jump and all the things I need to do here for the most part. So it works pretty well. Again, I might want to adjust and change a few things here for my liking, but overall this template was a good start. So go through, see what's going to work for you, but I think this works out pretty well. The install is not too bad. You might have to have your password there. You're going to have to use uh, potentially the sign in uh, work around when you're on the desktop to get in. But other than that, didn't really run into too many problems here and I've been messing around for about the last hour or so here on the deck. But anyways, guys, hopefully this helped to get the Hightail going on your Steam Deck. As always, thanks a lot for coming to watch. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.